What's up boys and girls, how are you doing today? My name is Courtney J and I hope you're having a good day and once again I am shirtless. Now let's talk about what the video is about and that's five sexy things that guys do. Yesterday I did release sexy things that girls do. I'm kind of doing this as like a, a two for one special basically, two videos in the space of two days which is pretty good effort of my part I think. But if you do want to go see that video I recommend going and watching it and dropping in a comment because I'm actually answering Q&A questions there. So if you want to be in the next Q&A video which will be next week, you want to go and ask your questions over there. So let's talk about the first sexy thing, and this is crucial, it's so important, and that is a person who has dignity and respect and is very endearing. So let me elaborate on that a little bit. I have had conversations when I've been single with guys and girls alike, and something what always ruined the conversation is when they've asked me to send nudes, or they've tried to send me nudes as well. Now I'm not saying that sending nudes is a bad thing, sometimes it can be fun, but sometimes it's just not appropriate. It shows that there's a lack of respect for me, and it's a lack of respect for themselves, and I just don't really like that. I like the whole mysterious factor. I think the whole build up to finally meeting each other and then working from there is really, really important. And I think anything what comes in between that and takes the mysterious out is something that really destroys the sexiness. And it just stops me seeking you out because I find like, oh, you've already showed me everything and you just kind of just too upfront and it's not something I like. I like playing that game of, ooh, what's coming next? The next thing is a guy who chooses to dress smart over dressing casual. I love suits, I love dress shoes, I love that whole sophistication of it and just looking the business and just looking really confident and intellectual. I think that looks amazing and it always looks really sexy over someone who just kind of lives it down all the time. I like someone who likes to put in the effort. So if you're putting in the effort for me, I'm probably gonna find it a lot sexier than if you're not. So this one's a little bit more personal to myself, but I find it more attractive when a person is either the same height or just a little bit taller than me when it comes to guys. I like that whole that I can just look at them and their eye level with me or they're just above, not too tall, not like giant, I don't like that whole feeling really inferior. But it's completely opposite when I'm actually looking at girls. I like girls who are shorter than me because it makes me feel a bit more manly I guess. I'm not the tallest person so I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10". So, you know, I'm just playing the rule of averages here. And the fourth thing what I find really sexy is a guy who's willing to be sensitive. He's willing to be more open about his feelings. I don't like it when someone's too overwhelmed by everything and they like to cry and make a big situation of a thing. That's a bit of a crybaby. I'm not really into that. I just like someone who like, you know, if there's a sad moment in the movie, they're gonna cry with me. Or if there's something really nice, they're gonna go, oh, that's really nice. And they're not gonna go like, wow, well, I have to be a man about it. I like someone who's open about their feelings. And I think most people will find that attractive because it's easy to connect with that person. You don't feel so shut off from them. And the final and fifth thing, and this is probably the most important thing to me, is someone who's willing to accept that I am bisexual. Now I get a lot of stick from the gay community saying that, oh, you're bi now, you're gay later, or you just put it on because of popularity and that sort of thing. And that's not really the case. And I get it from the straight side saying, oh, wow, well, you know, you're not really bi, are you? You just, you just kind of like guys. And it's one of those things where it's a catch-22. Like, I've come out openly and a lot of people don't accept that I've accepted myself. And I just like it and I find it really attractive when someone just doesn't care about that. They just care about me and they care about my feelings. And that's really sexy for a guy to do and a girl to do. It's pretty universal. I just find someone very attractive who's very accepting of me and other people. So boys and girls, did you like that video? If you did, please give me a massive thumbs up because it helps me out so much. Write a comment, tell me what you thought about this video. Do you want another video like this? What sort of videos do you want to see? Also give it a share because the guys got to know that they are sexy as well. Also, I'm just going to say, if you do want to be part of the Q&A, all you got to do is send your questions to Ask the J and I will be answering all of them in the next video. So I look forward to seeing what you guys are willing to ask me and I'm gonna be completely open about it. So just ask anything and I will try and answer them the best I can. But I'm gonna say love, peace and chicken grease. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.